Hi, I'm Bill, WR1TR. Recently, a friend and I were looking for ideas for a lightweight portable 6 meter antenna, and I came up with the idea of building a 6 meter only hex beam. Turns out it wasn't really that original of an idea. Somebody else had already done it. In fact, a lot of people have already done it, and they're for sale. Uh, you can buy one, or you can watch this video, and I will show you how to build one for about $30 and three or four hours of labor. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. Uh, first, you're going to need a drill press. A bench top model will be just fine. Uh, then a table saw that will take a 10-inch carbide tip blade, preferably a 60 to 80 tooth blade. Then we're going to need some drill bits, quite a few in fact. We've got a number 7, a number 19, a number 25, and a number 36 drill bit. And then over here we've got a 2-inch Forstner bit, which, by the way, you might want to change this down to a one and a half or one and three quarter or whatever your pole size is. We'll talk about that later. Then we got a five eighths inch Forstner bit and a one half inch Forstner bit. I like the Forstner bits because they cut a nice flat cut at the bottom uh, and they don't pull your work or they don't grab your work and pull it up onto the drill. It's, it's much easier to hold your work. And then we're going to have um, some taps. We've got a quarter 20 tap here. We've got a number 10 24 tap here and a number 632 tap. And you don't have to have a tap handle for each one of them. I just happen to have three tap handles and so I keep them mounted. Uh, you're going to need a vise to hold your work, uh, specifically when we're cutting our poles. Uh, and you're going to need uh, something to hold that vise. I'll show you that clamp in a minute. You're going to need a number, well it's not a number, it's a 1 8 inch roll pin by 1 half inches long. It's not really 1 8 inch diameter, but that's what they call it. Um, some diagonal cutters, some needle nose, some pliers that have, hopefully if you've got some pliers that have the old crimping shape here, uh, that's the best thing to have. Uh, if you have some of those in your toolbox, bring those to the shop. Um, an X-Acto knife or a sharp knife for marking the plastic and also for cleaning up some of our cuts. And a screwdriver number two Phillips. Hacksaw. Hammer. A punch to hit with a hammer. A piece of dowel or something three quarter inch in diameter. Anything, a tool handle, whatever you've got that's three quarter inch in diameter. We'll use that. I'll show you what that's for. A Dremel tool with a 1 8 or 1 16th inch cutting bit. Um, not absolutely necessary to have this. If you can do the job we're going to do uh, with hand tools, you can do it with hand tools. Dremel tool makes it real easy. Some plastic squares, a 45 degree and a 60 30 degree plastic square. Some masking tape. That clamp that uh, we're going to use to hold our vise in place on our bench. A tri square, a lighter or matches. We're also going to need uh, several pieces of plywood scrap and uh, scrap wood, a couple of nails just to make some jigs with. And finally, you're going to need a drill bit of, well, this is a 1964th drill bit. And this size may change depending on what materials you use. So we'll get to that. But uh, if you use the same materials that I'm using, you'll need a 1964th diameter drill bit. Materials, I'm not going to go over the whole list, just a few of the important items that uh, you don't find around the house every day. One of them is uh, high density polyethylene. This is three quarters of an inch thick, five inches wide. This piece is 12 inches long. You only need a six inch piece. It's about uh, ten dollars for this. So go ahead and get a bigger piece. You'll be glad you have it. There are other projects you'll find for it. You'll need three eight-foot quarter-inch fiberglass poles. Heat shrink tubing. I like the thin heat shrink tubing. It's the cheap stuff. It's six millimeter. And uh, the thick stuff that has the adhesive already in it is, is kind of hard to work with on this project. So I prefer to spray a little adhesive and then apply this and you'll see where we use it in the project later. But that's our hardware for this project and um, let's get started on actually building it. Okay, I've measured my poles to 34 and a quarter inch, put a piece of tape on here and then measured it again and marked on top of the tape. If your hole in the center of your hub is going to be smaller than my two inch hole, you'll have to adjust the pole length to compensate. If you think about that, if you have an inch and a half hole, then you've got an extra quarter inch on each side, so you'll have to make your poles uh, 34 and a half inches, for example. Uh, so these are 34 and, a half, uh, 34 and a quarter inch, excuse me, and I'm going to cut six of them, 
out of my three eight foot poles. All right, um, I've spray painted the poles. Uh, only really need to do that to keep them from breaking down in UV and sunlight if you're gonna leave them up a lot. Okay, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put a little spray adhesive on the end of the pole, just a little bit, and then we're gonna slide some six millimeter um, heat shrink onto the tip of the pole. Um, and uh, then we'll uh, hit that with a hot gun. Now we're gonna leave just a tiny amount of the heat shrink hanging over the edge here and that's gonna kinda of shrink up around the end and cup over the end. Now the point of doing this is, one, uh, to give our zip ties something to grip onto on the outside end, and on the inside end, it's gonna protect the end of the pole from splintering uh, with frequent use. Okay, just a little bit of adhesive on the end of the tip. And that's close enough. See, I've got just about a 32nd of an inch hanging over. And um, I'm gonna hit that with a heat gun. And that's done. All right, now we're gonna take our uh, big zip ties. And by the way, we use black because they're pretty much the only thing that resists UV. Everything else will come apart in a year or so. And we're gonna go ahead and put them around a three quarter inch dowel, or you can use anything, uh, tool handle, whatever you got, to make these uniform size. And then what we'll do is we'll take another zip tie, stick it through there, and you will wind up with a nice little loop that's the same size on each pole. And I've accounted for the size of the loop on the zip tie uh, to, uh, with respect to the size of the wire going around the hex beam. For the hub, we're going to, in the center of the antenna, we're gonna start with the five inch by six inch block of high density polyethylene. And we're gonna find the center of that block and go ahead and mark that. So since it's five inches across, it's two and a half on one side. Okay, we need a hole in the center of our polyethylene uh, that is the right size for a one eighth inch roll pin. And um, well, 1 8 inch in a roll pin isn't really 1 8 inch, so it's uh, really 1 point, or 0.166 inch, so 166 thousandths of an inch. So let's go ahead and put that hole in there. 